Zara Karami's scientific curiosity has always been inspired by her mum Rezia's cooking. Even though she hasn't been to school, she hasn't studied or anything, she does experiments. She, I, I learn from her pretty much every day. Zara and Rezia fled Afghanistan when Zara was one. She learned her country's traditional meals on the road and didn't see her father for six years. There was times I cried. I kind of see a child with a dad buying them ice cream. I cried. Zara says the safety of the family's home in Sydney's West was worth the hardships. But there was a new challenge when her all-girls high school didn't offer physics. At that time, they think engineering is not for girls. Zara didn't let that stop her, convincing her mates in the school to run the course for the first time. I made the whole seven of my, my friends to run the class to at least keep it going so I can do it in my um, 11 and 12. That's your forward. Oh, okay. Today, Zara's an honours student and tutoring at the University of Technology, Sydney. Having a wider group of students in the lab isn't just about equity. There's research that shows new engineers and scientists bring new solutions that can power the inventions of tomorrow. Zara's proving that daily at Cochlear, where an internship turned into a job, working on the company's famous hearing implants. I have been passionate to be a part of Cochlear is because I can make a, even if it's a tiny contribution, I want to be a part of it. This solid value is going to be what? The government's push to boost diversity in STEM is based on supporting young people with paid internships. But on the ground, charities warn COVID-19 has seen companies close their doors. Last year we had 150 young people apply for cadetships, but we could only fill 20 places. 390, sorry. Yep. Young people like Zara are fantastic, but if those young people send their CV directly to an employer, chances are they, they won't get an interview. But what a CV doesn't capture is the young person's motivation, their resilience. For Zara and Rezia, that small investment was worth a fortune. Connor Duffy, ABC News.